uh, we did have a t an opportunity for my team uh, to reach out to Director Roberts to understand what had taken place, and it appears that they followed normal and uh, their appropriate process. Um, the complaint actually came in online through the federal system over the weekend. It came in on the 13th. They responded within five business days in writing, which was on the 20th, but they had, in fact, already been in touch with the Tyson, uh, other facilities, and the Perry plant um, to talk about some of the processes that they were putting in place. So they do have a process that they go through that determines um, the seriousness of the complaint and therefore how they respond to the complaint. So um, they have, they do this on a case by case basis and they have been on site with some of the other companies that had filed a complaint that's, that warranted a site visit. Um, so they had, um, uh, like I said, already been in contact with the Tyson Perry plant, responded in writing within five days. And actually at the time that they were talking to them, they'd already proactively made the decision to shut down the facility, do some extensive cleaning and start to implement different practices. So I wanna just finish by saying how much I appreciate the hardworking investigation of the state employees that are responding to these complaints and really the proactive approach that they're taking every day to make sure that companies are implementing safe uh, practices. So I wanna just give a shout out to uh, the workforce at OSHA and the great job that they're doing and working around the clock to meet the needs um, of, of individuals who are concerned about maybe some conditions that they're working in.